stationary views so in, the, in this chapter we were discussing about the last article that is beats phenomenon of beat beat manje kay or what do you mean by beat we have discussed what do you mean by beat so let us review when two sound waves when two sound waves of same amplitude of same amplitude slight difference in frequency slight difference in frequency traveling through the same medium in same direction in same direction superimpose each other superimpose each other the resultant intensity of sound varies resultant intensity of sound varies between between maximum and minimum maximum intensity of sound is called waxing and minimum intensity of sound is called waning once once again we will repeat when two sound waves of same amplitude but slight difference in frequency traveling through the same medium in the same direction superimpose each other the resultant intensity of sound or resultant intensity of sound varies between maximum and minimum maximum intensity of sound is called waxing and minimum intensity of sound is called waning so waxing and its successive waning forms a beat waxing and its successive waning forms a beat we have proved that beat frequency is equal to difference between the two frequencies n1 minus n2 and also we have discussed that a maximum number of beats of a normal ear can dictate is 20 beats per second once again we are repeat a waxing and its successive waning forms a beat waxing and its successive waning forms a beat forms a beat we have proved that beat frequency is equal to difference between the two frequencies of the waves and also we have discussed that maximum number of beats a normal ear can detect is 20 beats per second and also we have defined beat frequency how do we define beat frequency number of beats heard per second is called beat frequency we have determined the time interval for which waxing is produced and for which waning are produced for waxing zero when time interval is zero 1 upon n1 minus n2, 1 upon 2 upon n1 minus n2, die 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 die. Similarly, time interval for forming the waning is 1 upon 2 n1 minus n2, comma 3 by 2 n1 minus n2 and 5 by 2 n1 minus n2. Sim die die die. so from these two intervals you are determined the beat frequency n is equal to n1 minus n2 so this is what we have discussed in the last class now let us today discuss application of beats application of beats
first application is the phenomenon of beat is used to tune the musical instruments musical instruments while producing the musical sound musical song different instruments are made to vibrate different instruments are used but when the frequency of different instruments is different it does not produce a pleasant effects on our ear in order to produce the pleasant effect on our ear all the frequencies of instrument should be same that means the resonance should be there between the different instruments so if you are using guitar tabla the more are different frequencies are different in order to make the frequency a instrument which a a musician who is producing the no, musician who is producing the music or is to using the new instrument he actually vibrates it another one is also vibrate both the both the people will hear the sound beat will produce and slowly they adjust so that no beats are produced by this way all the instruments are made to have a same frequency and resonance will take place and due to this what happens a pleasant sound is produced in the ear of listener so the first application of beat is to tune the musical instrument second application is a phenomenon of beat is used to doppler doppler radar what is radar radar is the short form of radio radio amplification detection and range range so this doppler effect radar is based on the doppler effect doppler radar doppler radar is used this is based on the principle of doppler <laughs> application of beats the long form of radar is radio amplification detection and ranging so radar is used to determine the speed of speed of airplane airplane radar is based upon the principle of beats so what actually happens is if suppose if you want to determine the speed of an aeroplane if suppose the aeroplane is in this direction from the station where the radar is situated a microwave is microwave sound is sent as we have studied in the dop in the level standard what is doppler effect when anyone source or observer is moving there will be change in frequency of sound source there will be change in frequency of sound source so when microwave is sent on the aeroplane aeroplane is moving source is stationary so there will be change in frequency and the sound goes microwave reflects back and it is received on the radar station in the radar station and due to second reflection again there will be change in frequency so due to change in frequency we are able to measure measure the velocity of sound so what radar the long form of radar is radio amplification detection and range detection and range we can detect the what which at what speed the aeroplane is moving and ranging means at what distance it is at what distance it is we can range it so it is based on the principle of beat 
how does it works radar works on the principle of beat in this case what we do is from radar station we send a sound wave or micro wave micro wave when it incidents on the aeroplane due to first incident there will be change in frequency it reflects back due to reflection again there will be change in frequency or due to reflect to there are two types of change in frequency and we measure the change in frequency by measuring the change in frequency we can determine the speed of aeroplane or velocity of aeroplane and similarly sonar sonar is also based on the principle of beats the long form of sonar is sound sound navigation and range range so this is used in submarines submarines the ship is below the water they are called submarines but the principle of b they can determine is there any obstacle in front of submarine same principle is micro wave sent and this micro reflects back due to change in frequency you can determine whether is there any obstacle or not obstacle or not the so submarines below the in below the sea they are about 10 to 20 kilometers below the sea they are not able to see anything with the use of sonar they can determine any obstacle is in front of submarines or not sonar is also based upon the principle of beat similarly three application use first apply musical instrument second is radar third is sonar let us discuss fourth one principle of beat or click beat is used in ultrasonography 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 and echo cardiography ecg sonography and echo cardiography that is e c g in sonography is also based on the principle of beats in that doctor uses the instrument the sonography instrument to assess to assess the blood flow is there any blockage or anything is there blockage in the vessels of blood vessels or what about the speed of blood so pre determined assessment is there in the sonography by comparing the blood flow they can assess and then they can determine is there any default in the blood vessel similarly echocardiography is same so it is based on the same phenomenon which is used for the determine the blood flow velocity and all those things so by this and last one is fourth application fifth application is phenomenon of beat is used to determine the unknown frequency unknown frequency of sound source if suppose we do we don't know the frequency 
frequency of some tuning fork. So you don't know. A non frequency L. What we will do is we take a variable frequency of tuning fork of whose frequency can be changed. Whose frequency can be changed is taken. When both are sounded together, if suppose the frequency is small n, the difference between the frequency produces the pitch. Slowly, frequency of known tuning fork is increased from minimum to maximum. As the frequency of increase or when it becomes nearer to capital N, when frequency of known tuning fork becomes equal to the near to the frequency of tuning unknown tuning fork, beats will produce or beats can be detected by the normal ear. Normal ear. When 20 beats are produced, a normal ear can detect. And slowly, when the frequency of N is adjusted such that when both will become similar, no beats are produced. And both will become equal and frequency of unknown tuning fork becomes equal to frequency of known tuning fork. No bits are produced and no bits are produced. We can able to determine the frequency of tuning fork. Frequency of tuning fork. So these are the five different applications of bits. First application is to determine a to tune the musical instrument, second one is a phenomenon of beats is used in Doppler radar. Second one, third one is phenomenon of beat is used in Doppler sonar or sonar. Phenomenon of beat is used in ultrasonography or in echocardiography ECG. The phenomenon of beat is used to determine unknown frequency of sound source or non frequency of tuning for or sound source. So by this way the chapter comes to end. Of another article is last article is characteristics of sound. The characteristics of sound this article has been reduced. So due to COVID-19 the syllabus has been reduced, it has been omitted. Let us solve the problems today, numerical problems. Before going to solve the problems, so let us see what, let us see what are the formulas we have derived. What are the formulas we have derived. Equation for progressive view. Equation for progressive is given by y is equal to e sin 2 pi t by t minus x upon lambda. What is t? Time interval, capital T is time period of view. x is distance from the origin. x is distance from the origin. O and lambda with the wavelength of the view. And in this one, the term 2 by 2 pi by t is called phase. Phase of view. Similarly, the term 2 pi x by lambda is also phase. Phase. And the basic formula we have derived v is equal to n lambda where that you know which is used in sound as well as in light. So we have determined the formation of stationary waves. The resultant equation of stationary waves given y is equal to 2a cos 2 pi x upon lambda sine 2 pi t by t. 
और यू कैन राइट वाई इज इक्वल टू ए साइन टू पाई टी बाई टी फिर ए इज रिजल्टेंट यू रिजल्ट एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ रिजल्टेंट यू तो दिस ए इज इक्वल टू ए कॉस टू पाई कॉस टू पाई एक्स अपॉन लेमडा From this expression, we are determined the position of anti-node sine node. We have proved that the distance between two successive anti-node is lambda by two. Distance between two successive node is lambda by two, and distance between successive node and anti-node is lambda by four. Lambda by four. Okay. Equation of simple harmonic progressive wave is y is equal to s and two pi t by t minus x upon lambda. So in this equation, the term says is two pi t by t and says two pi x upon lambda. Both the terms are phase terms. Basic formula v is equal to n lambda. And stationary result stationary waves are formed. Resultant equation is given y is equal to two a cos two pi x upon lambda two pi t by t. Or y is equal to a sin 2 pi t by t, or a is equal to a cos 2 pi x upon lambda. Where a is resultant amplitude. Okay. Resultant amplitude. So we have proved that the distance between two successive node or anti node is lambda by 2. And distance between two successive node and land and and two nodes lambda by four. And then you have discussed stationary wave beats. So just now we have discussed beat frequency is equal to beat frequency is equal to difference between the frequencies of two waves. Difference between the frequencies of two waves. So with the with the use of these formulas, we will solve the numerical problems. In test book, in test book, numerical problems are starting from exercise page number one fifty six, page number one fifty six. From ten to problem from ten to twenty four. That means in total fifteen problems are there. We have to solve one by one. We will solve one by one. So while solving the problem, I will what we will do is, upon ka ko as a video pattern. So tomorrow solve the problem sa usta katle. Kyu ma? As a photo pattern de. एक एक करो अपन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करो पहला प्रॉब्लम है फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज सो एज वी सॉल्व इन द क्लास लेट एस लेट एस रीड द प्रॉब्लम एंड राइट द डाटा वन बाय वन अ वेव ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी फाइव हंड्रेड हर्ट्स अ वेव ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट मीन्स He has given frequency of u. Frequency of u is denoted by n. That is five hundred hertz. Is traveling with a speed of three hundred fifty meter. So speed and velocity of u is given three hundred fifty meter per second. Okay. What is the phase difference between the two displacement at a certain point at time interval one point zero millisecond apart? That means a wave is propagating, say, from the origin. A wave is at at a point, say, at point at this point. How much time it has taken? Zero point. 1.0 millisecond to reach this point to reach this point 
So we have to determine what is the phase difference between two displacement at a certain point at time. Two displacement, not from the origin. Two points are there from this point to this point. So this is x1, so this is x1 and x2. The difference two displacement x2 minus x1 how much time they have taken t1 is equal to 1.0 millisecond we have to determine the phase phi1 first second one also what will be the smallest distance between two points which are 45 degree out of phase what would be the difference? x2 minus x1, smallest distance. Smallest distance is so called displacement. What would be the distance x2 minus x1? When the phase, say phi2 is equal to 45 degree. Phi2 is equal to 45 degree. Out of phase at an instant, at an instant of time. Once again I repeat. Okay, once again I read a wave of frequency 500 hertz is traveling with a speed of 350 meter per second. Okay, from these two data, we have to determine what? First one is what is the phase difference between two displacement at a certain point at a time 1.0 millisecond apart? Two points are there, x1 is point, x2 is point. So difference between the two trauma points, the time is the time taken by the view to reach from x1 to x3 is t1 is equal to 1.0 millisecond. What would be the phase? Phi1. Second is what would be the distance between the two points, smaller distance, and the phase difference. Phi two is equal to forty five degree. Forty five degree. So, as I have stated just now, phi phase difference is given by two pi t by t, and phi is equal to two pi x upon lambda. So with the use of two equal of these two formulas, we can determine phase difference. Now, before using the formula, let us see data. What is the data he has given? 500 hertz, 350 meter per second. That means both are in SI unit. The given data are in are in SI unit. If they are not in similar units. You have to convert in similar unit. If suppose if it is given in CGS unit, say centimeter per second, that means you have to convert into meter per second. But it has already given in SI unit meter per second. So before going to solve the problem, we have to concentrate on the given data. Whether the data the data given is in the same unit or not are in the same units or not if they are in different units you have to convert into in a similar unit in a similar unit so in this case no necessary to change okay now so if you use phi is equal to 2 pi t by t First problem, phi 1, if you are not able to use this formula because time period is not given, t is given, you have to determine the time t, t is given, how much? 1.0 millisecond, time period is not given, so phi 1 is equal to 2, phi 1 is equal to 2 pi t by t or phi 1 is equal to 2 pi t is how much 1 millisecond 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 time 
इज वन अपॉइंट टी और एन इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉइंट टी एन इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉइंट टी और टी इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉइंट एन टी इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉइंट एन सो वी गेट पाई वन इज इक्वल टू टू पाई इन टू टेन टू दावर माइनस थ्री So the phase difference is five pi is equal to pi radian. So now second one you have to determine x two minus x one. X two minus x one. As phase phase pi two is given. Now. Pi is equal to two pi x upon lambda. Two pi x upon lambda. Or phi two is equal to two pi x two minus x one divided by lambda. Or x two minus x one is equal to pi two into lambda divided by two pi. Pi two, forty-five degree. Lambda, you don't know. We don't know. V is equal to n lambda, or lambda is equal to v upon n. You are about two pi. Pi is one eighty degree, or which is equal to forty-five one zero, forty-five two zero ninety, forty-five four zero. One upon two into eight. Sorry, one upon two into four. V is three fifty, and n is five hundred. Five hundred. Or which is equal to forty-five two thousand ninety. Forty-five four the one eight. Okay, eight. One zero goes thirty five divided by hundred. Eight eight five the forty four hundred. Oh, if we saw. Thirty-five divided by four into ten to the power minus three, or which is equal to four seven zero twenty-eight, four eight zero thirty-two point three, four seven zero twenty twenty-eight, four five zero twenty ten to the power minus three meter. Answer is. So let us do here only. Continue tomorrow.